Well, that completes our news and weather. There'll be more in news report for you tonight around about 9.45, but stay viewing now for this special telecast on the Royal Visit. We present highlights of the visit to Orange by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. While in Summer Street, thousands of people were gathering to view the royal progress through the centre of the city. The atmosphere here in Summer Street, Orange, is one of excitement as a large crowd waits for the royal party to pass by. From our vantage point here at the Hotel Canopolis, we are assured a good view of the procession down Summer Street to the community centre as are the thousands of people who have crammed into Summer Street for this historic occasion. And the crowd is waving more enthusiastically than ever. You can hear the first ripple of a cheer now, flags waving, and there is the open Rolls Royce. Hundreds of thousands of people, well thousands anyway, are running behind the procession to get another glimpse of the Queen and are moving to further vantage points along the route. The sun is very bright, shining on the car, and the people are very excited. The Queen looks radiant in a beautiful lemon-coloured ensemble. The car is now moving from the left-hand side of the road to the centre of the road, and are just approaching the Summer Street and Lord's Place intersection now. This is our first real close-up of the Queen, smiling of course, waving to the crowd, as is the Duke, and the royal car carries the special Australian standard of Her Majesty. Broadcast point and a great cheer is going up. They are terribly excited. The Queen waving. <laughs> One cry there of good on you. Good old Aussie language as the Queen passes, followed by car one and the rest of the official entourage. The large crowd still waiting as the royal visitors left the reception. This time they move to their car a little more briskly as they are running just a little behind schedule having spent more than their 40 minutes inside the hall. Again, however, both the Queen and Prince Philip chatted briefly with members of the public before being farewelled by the Mayor and Mayoress. The Queen's personal standard flying above the community hall and on her car which waited outside. Final chance for the largest crowd of all to see both Her Majesty the Queen and Prince Philip before Excuse they left me, the city of Orange. At the top of the stairway, our royal visitors gave a last wave to the people of the Central West. As the aircraft headed into the clear blue sky, the sentiments of the people throughout the Central West and indeed Australia were expressed on this flag outside the airport. You've been viewing highlights of the visit to Orange by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II and His Royal Highness Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh. This has been a CBN CWN production.